Hi, I'm Helen and I've worked as the LCBC Church Administrator for the past 20 years, which I can't quite believe. Um, and before that, I was a primary school teacher at John Hampden in Tame. I grew up in a Christian home and so I always went to church and believed in God. It was a very natural part of my parents' life and I saw no reason to question it. But uh, when I was a teenager, I realised I had to make up my own mind as to who Jesus was and whether I was going to follow him. Um, my parents were really good in not giving me uh, any pressure as to what to believe and let me choose for myself. There was one particular service when I just knew that I had to decide to follow Jesus. It was what I needed to do. It was a very emotional moment as it was the first time I felt the very real love of God personally for myself and what he had actually done for me. So to demonstrate that, I was baptised at the age of 13 at Tunbridge Baptist Church and all my friends, family and church were there. And being a Baptist church, I got extremely wet all over. Let's skip forward 10 years and I was now married to Martin and a primary school teacher, which I loved. I particularly loved teaching the creative arts, music, poetry, um, everything except science, if I'm honest. I was fresh out of college and I hoped that my enthusiasm and ideas made up for the fact that I didn't have much experience of actual children and my first class had 36 seven to nine year olds. But when it came to parents evening, parents wanted to know what their own sons or daughters were actually doing, not what the whole class was up to. And sometimes that was a really tough question to answer for a fresh faced teacher. Um, when I became a parent and Martin and I sat on the other side of the desk at parents evening, I understood the feeling for the first time. We were only really interested in what our own two boys were up to not what the rest of the class were up to. I expected the teachers to know. And I became more aware of what each individual child in my class was up to after becoming a parent myself, because I realised how much each parent loved their own child and wanted the best for them. And uh, I firmly believe that the God who I decided to follow at the age of 13 is someone who I can call my father. And this goes far beyond the limits of human love that we have for our own children or I have for my own dad. Because it's my father God who created me and he knows me inside out. He knows everything about me despite me being one of seven billion people here on earth, which makes my efforts of knowing uh, one child in 30 in my class sort of pale into insignificance. And my father God wants to be involved in my life and he's there with me in everything that I do when it's going right and when it's going wrong, and I can trust him with anything. He forgives me time and time again when I go wrong and just loves me. The um, parable of the prodigal son is a favourite of mine. It tells the story of a son who went as far as he could away from his father, but when he was at his very lowest, he realised he was in need of help. He couldn't carry on anymore, and he came home in total shame and humiliation. And his father saw him coming, and he didn't wait for him, he ran to meet him. He threw his arms out and kissed him, threw his arms around him. It was just brilliant. It was not the reaction he was expecting or deserved. And Jesus used that story to show how God will meet us with forgiveness and love, even when we have gone completely against him. And that's a great promise and security. And so I can have confidence that uh, my father, God, is looking out for me every day.